Hey YouTube, it's Timor here coming at you with uh, Decrofile uh, Top 64 at Nationals, uh, North American Nationals with Kyle Warfield, uh, Scarecrow Kaiser 17. Go subscribe to his channel and uh, he's going to show us his deck and I guess explain some card choices and whatnot. So yeah. Yeah, I got to go to Worlds last year for the DS, but I didn't get to go this year. <laughs> uh, I was playing Chaos Dragons. I finished X2 in Swiss and lost Top 64 in one year. Whatever. Uh, Tree Valor, Gores, Trag, uh, Dark Arm, Two Red Eyes. I played three of these guys uh, instead of like, because I wanted more Chaos, and I didn't want to play three Sorcerer because I feel like this guy is better. Because it's another dragon for your future fusion. And like, I played against four Dark World this weekend, so this guy was really good. And there's another target for Pulsar. Like, there was a lot of good reasons around three of them. Pulsars, two clips, two sorcerer, BLS, two trooper, and then play three Lila, three Raikou, and one tech Jane. Uh, Jane helped a lot. It beat over Kaikus and it beat over some saber sources. And one time it crashed into a centipede equipped with Hornet. And it was another target for my uh, solar recharges and stuff. So I was really glad I played them. Three tour guides, same game. It's like 32 monsters. And then played nine spells, I believe. Three recharge, uh, charge, dark hole, machine, three four, future fusion, and I played mind control. It's really, really useful. Like I, I even took out Lord of Darkness just so I could play it. It wins a lot of games, especially in the mirror match. Yeah, I was considering playing it. It's yeah. Like, it was so good, I had to play it over alert. And that was hard to cut, because I wanted all the draw on uh, Side, two virus, two crow. How did you like crow? Crow? Yeah. I liked it a lot. Uh, and, well, as I said, I played against four dark worlds. Oh, yeah. That's so, <laughs> played against four dark worlds and, like, two injectors, so it was very helpful. Yeah, I guess that's really good. And I played, even though I lost the windups, I was glad that I at least had this in there. No, I no MSTs, Dust, and Trimble Decree. Ironically enough, I still lost the final countdown. <laughs> but against like heroes and other decks, like in Rabbit, like this got me there. Catapult turtle for final countdown. Yeah, I wasn't, I didn't think I would lose the final countdown if I had this. And then against like other decks like heroes and shit, like I'd be able to do this against them, like Chain Burn. Like I figured this would cover multiple. So the catapult yeah. turtle. <laughs> Some people play land dark and strike, only covering like the one deck. So somehow I still lost. <laughs> and then I said two safe zones. These are for the mirror match, which I never actually got to play against. <laughs> so I didn't really get to use them. But the idea is in the dragon mirror match, neither of you really have back row killer. So you safe zone like your dark arm, your BLS, your red eyes, and your opponent's like, I can't really deal with that. So. I decided a second track and a battle fader. Uh, these were really useful because, like, dragons can just OTK you and beat the crap out of you. So, so having these plus the track and main helps keep you alive. And Zectors, if they can't kill me, I'm usually okay. Um, Dark World can have some pretty heavy hitters sometimes. And, like, dropping track will actually, if the field spells out, he'll be able to actually beat over that grappler and... So, there was one match with this against the Insectors. I 10 tempoed their Acid Golem, and then they made a final push for game, and I dropped this, and they lost because that was their final chance. Uh, extra? Yep. Uh, 10 tempo, really good. <laughs> I played him over. Yeah, this card wins a bunch of games. Obviously, these guys. Uh, my only rank 4 was the Queen Dragon. She was really good. I never miss playing Utopia. <laughs> uh, every time I brought her out, she was really good. She would get out my pulsar. So there was one game even where I had uh, Red Eyes revive her because I didn't have a pulsar. That forced them to, kill, they wouldn't be able to kill their, my Red Eyes that turn. They would have had to kill her. And then Red Eyes would just be there to revive her. So it was really good. Even without materials, her no battle effects still applies. Him and him. Uh, yeah, this guy won my game, never made him. And then, 
this card's amazing. This card won me a bunch of games. Never played this card. I, I only brought him out like once or twice when I was trying to OTK for game. Yeah. It works, so. The only time I brought him out was in Injectors, and then they just start holding. <laughs> and this card wins a bunch of yeah, games. It does. This card is amazing. And I had two Synchros, uh, Brio and Black Rose. Uh, Brio, just because if I can Brio with a Dark Flare and pitch some things, bounce your field, and then drop the rest of my Chaos Monsters uh, when the games, it's an out to like cards like Defissure or something. And I play Black Rose over Arcanite, because if they Veil or Arcanite, it's fucking awful. <laughs> if I drop Black Rose and they Veil it, it's still a beat stick, it still can be revived, and I can still remove it for Red Eyes. You don't want to play Ancient Sacred Wyvern? What? Ancient Sacred Wyvern? No, I didn't have the room for that. Like, I want more likely yeah. things, and obviously the five god. So that's about it. Yeah, so that's the deck profile with Kyle Warfield. Um, go subscribe to his channel. Scare from Kaiser 17. And yeah, um, I'll be back with some more videos. You warned out. Peace. Yeah,